Hey friends, welcome back here to these encouragement videos. Thanks again for popping in on these. I'm Pastor Andy. My encouragement videos, these ones most recently, are framed around Proverbs. I'm just kind of walking through the book of Proverbs. Remarkable, remarkable stuff. And um, I want to read you. Remember I had said kind of the way that I process things. Um, I, I read it, I write it, I think it, I pray it, I say it, and then I do it. It's kind of the way that I process through the Bible and the devotion time and stuff. And so I want to, I want to read you a little bit of what I wrote here. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 through 33. So kind of the second half of Proverbs chapter 1. I'll just read it to you and then make some comments even here. Um, and I would encourage you, as much as you're able... When you're watching these things, man, open your Bible to the passage that we're talking about. I think it might be helpful for you. But So I just wrote some thoughts. Life's warning signs abound. Slow, curve ahead. Falling rocks. Steep drop off. Buckle up. Hot surface. Check engine. <laughs> Stand clear. Wear a helmet. Hands back. Moving parts. Danger. Keep off. Watch your tongue. Listen carefully. Okay, and on and on and on. These these warning signs in life, they're all over there. There's wise words that are pared down to this kind of succinct statement that hopes to be heeded, paid attention to, right? They don't hide from us. They don't crouch behind boulders and spring out to surprise us. They aren't tucked in the end notes of a back page. They aren't whispered quietly after the fact. They're right out in the public eye. Raised voices, hands waving, right? These words of wisdom, these, these wise statements. And Proverbs reiterates this, okay? And here we're coming to a passage in Proverbs. And I'll, and, and I'll read it, read through it here a little bit. It says, wisdom calls aloud in the street. She raises her voice in the public square, the agora, or the marketplace. In the gateways of the city, she makes her speech. Okay, so here's wisdom right out there in front of us. It's the big billboard sign, waving arms, hollering at us. Hey, here's the wise way. And inevitably what happens, okay? Folks can be foolish, uh, mockers, simple ones, and fools, it says. They hate knowledge, okay? And the thing of it is, is inviting wisdom is easy. Like, it's made as easy as possible in Scripture. But when you read through it, how long will you simple ones love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge, if you'd responded to my rebuke, I would have poured out my heart to you. Okay, now imagine that. To hear wisdom and to respond, the, 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 what happens is God pours himself out to us, right? And life abundant becomes ours in this wonderful, unique way. But to ignore it is to invite disaster. It says, uh, when you ignore this, when you ignore my advice, I in turn will laugh at your disaster. I'll mock when calamity overtakes you. We don't want that, right? If you move all the way down through the text, finally wisdom turns away from the fool, turns to those who would listen, kind of the, the crowd that's present. And it says, for the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But... Big but in the Bible, there's several of them. Here's one. But whoever listens to me, whoever listens to wisdom, will live in safety and be at ease without fear or harm. Oh, Lord God, please, Almighty, make me one who listens to wisdom. And I hope that you would be one as well. We love you. Thanks.